some, but just the beginning for others. Carlton Houston reports on one man's goal to keep the spirit of the march alive. To ask a million men, men together, and from that perspective, it was more than successful. Because, he traveled to Washington, D.C., and he stood with men from across the nation during the Million Man March. Today, activist E. Maurice Denton brought home a message. I had no idea of the impact that it would have on the city, on the people, or on myself. It was very, very awesome. It was an experience Denton wants to keep alive, and he does that speaking to high school students at Bishop Hogan, encouraging them to be leaders. Develop their own ideas, their own thoughts, and their own conclusions about things. He saw the march for himself, and he saw the different accounts on what happened, how many were there, and the purpose. He wants his audience to explore the answers on their own. Well, it made a difference for me because oh. it made me want to go out and teach other young people, you know what I'm saying, about their culture and everything like that. It showed the unity. The unity was there, and it also showed uh, the good faith that the black men had of coming together and supporting each other. And today, one man showed the impact of the march is still alive. As Farrakhan himself stated, he can't do that. The march can't do that. Only we, you and I, can do that. Carlton Houston, KNBC 9 News. Thousands of African-American men gathered for the rally in Washington, D.C. earlier this month. Now one area participant wants teenagers to learn from his experience. News 5's Thurman Mitchell reports. Maurice Denton describes himself as just an average man working for racial equality and justice. He was among the four busloads of men who went to Washington, D.C. for the Million Man March. Now, some say it's unfortunate that Mr. Farrakhan was the medium through which this call was conveyed. Denton told the students he's convinced that Louis Farrakhan is the only figure in America who could have pulled off the Million Man March. But, he says, that does not mean that Farrakhan speaks for all black Americans. Now, understand me, Minister Farrakhan doesn't speak for me, but neither does President Clinton. Several students I talked to easily identified with the man and his message. I know how it feels to be followed through a shopping center just because of my color. We have to have respect for ourselves in order for us to respect someone else. And I guess that's what the Million Man March was about, bringing respect. There's a lot of disagreement over the numbers. Washington Park Police numbered the crowd at less than half a million. But Denton says it was more than a million people. It's unfortunate, but the media does not always present things in the proper perspective. Despite the disagreement and controversy surrounding the march, he says the Million Man March was a historic event that can promote racial harmony, not destroy it. That we do need to start talking together. We need to start communicating and stop talking at each other. Thurman Mitchell, News 5. It's estimated more than 200 people from Kansas City traveled to Washington, D.C. for the Million Man March.